guys, it's me, Nicole. I'm back. I decided to do a all drugstore makeup tutorial on this look right here. Um, everything that I use in the video will be listed in the description box below, so be sure and check that out. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. And yeah, if you want to know how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So this is the NYX Color Primer. I'm putting this on my T-zone, all over my nose, my cheeks, my forehead, my chin, where all my pores are the biggest and where I get the most oily. I have really oily skin, so this helps me stay pretty mad throughout the day. It's not the best, but we are doing a drugstore tutorial here. So <laughs> let's be real. Um, I get this at Ulta. You could buy this at Ulta, wherever they sell NYX products. Then I'm going to move on and I'm going to use my Real Techniques sponge. I'm using the flat side and I'm using my L'Oreal True Match in the um, color W4. And I use about a quarter size of foundation. And I do this because I have really bad acne scarring. And I exfoliate a lot so my skin is really pale. <clears throat> I put this on pretty liberal all over my face and I put it all over. I put it on my ears, I put it down my neck, and everywhere that's needed. And then I like to put a second coat on my cheeks where I have the most acne scarring. You could still see some red peeking through if I just do one coat. So I like to do a second coat, just a little tiny bit of foundation over my really bad parts of my skin and some of my hair fell out, so I'm just fixing that real quick. And I like to put a lot, um, a little bit more foundation on my eyelids because I have a lot of veins that like to poke through and I like that to be not showing. And this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the color Light Pale. I draw a triangle under my eyes, a line down my nose, and a line on my forehead, and I just take the sharp end, or the pointy end of my Real Technique sponge, and I just blend that out. As you can see here, I'm patting, I'm not really rubbing, I'm just patting it in place. I like to go from the inner corner to the outer corner of my face and then I go back in so that you're setting everything. And this is the Airspun Loose Face Powder in the color Naturally Neutral. You can buy this at Walmart. And I apply it pretty liberally under my eyes and on my eyelids. I use this as a base um, eyeshadow kind of on my eyelid. So really when I apply my eyeshadow I really don't need a base color. I put this on my nose and then I'm going to take my Real Techniques powder brush and I'm going to set the rest of my face with that same powder. It smells really good too. It might smell a little bit old lady-ish but I apply this powder everywhere that I put foundation. Then <clears throat> I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me pressed powder in the color 330 Toffee Caramel and I'm going to use my e.l.f. Kabuki brush and I'm going to put that all over my forehead, my temples, and my cheekbones just to warm up my face. Add some more color because I don't want to look, you know, pale. I need to put some color back in there. I'm going to go back over with my powder brush with no additional product and just kind of blend out the edges of that so it doesn't can't see the edges and everything looks well blended and seamless and natural. And this is the e.l.f. eyebrow kit I'm in the color medium. I'm just taking this Real Techniques setting brush. I use it for contouring because it's really pointy and I'm just kind of defining my contour and I'm using that e.l.f. kabuki brush to blend it out with no additional product. I'm just kind of going over it to blend it out. And then again, I'm going with my powder brush and blending it out so there's no harsh lines. And this is a Milani 
baked blush um, blush <laughs> in the color Luminoso. I like to apply this pretty liberally. It's my favorite blush. I've gone through like two or three of these in the last year. I use it all the time. And I'm going over with my powder brush to just kind of blend out the edges. I really don't touch the middle of the blush like on the highest part of my cheekbones. I go over the edges to kind of blend it out. And then I'm going to go with the e.l.f. Mist and Set Spray and I'm going to spray this all over my face. And this is an Anastasia. This is the only thing that it's not drugstore in this whole video. I didn't have any angled brushes to use, so I just used this. And this is the Nudes palette, that dark brown matte color. And I'm just kind of using this to put my eyebrows. <clears throat> and I'm just going to draw a, bottom, a line along the bottom of my eyebrow and blending it upwards. And then... I'm going to take the e.l.f. brow gel and I'm just going to set my eyebrows. I lost the clip. And then I'm going to take the light brown powder in the nudes palette with the e.l.f. fluffy brush and blend that out. Then this is the e.l.f. blending brush and I'm going to take the brown shimmery color and then I'm just going to blend that out with a real techniques brush. Again, no harsh lines. You just want to make everything look seamless. Okay, so I lost a clip where I put, was putting this makeup on, so I'm just kind of going over it. This is the e.l.f. Long Lustrous Lasting Eyeshadow, and it's the pinkish color. I don't, I forgot what the color is. I don't have it on the, my container anymore. And then I have this CoverGirl Champagne color, and it's a single eyeshadow, and I use this to highlight my inner corner. And I'm just taking that brown shadow again that I put in my crease and I'm putting that on my lower lash line with the e.l.f. blending brush. And I'm only doing this on about two thirds of my eye from the outer corner to almost the inner corner. I'm not really touching where I put the highlight. <clears throat> And then I'm going to take an uh, e.l.f. contour brush and I'm going to take that light brown first color that I um, put in my crease and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line just to kind of smoke out that bottom lash line and make everything not look so harsh. I don't like any harsh lines. I like to make sure everything is well blended. And then I'm going to curl my lashes. And I'm going to use my favorite mascara, the CoverGirl Lash Blast, and it's waterproof. I like to curl my lashes before I put mascara on because I love my lashes. I don't like tearing them out. And I just put my mascara on, and then I'm going to use the Kiss um, Ever Easy Lashes in the number 11. And I just like to apply them with my fingers. I find it easier than using a tweezers. And I use the Duo um, Lash Glue. And I did my real, my other eye off camera. And then I just wiped my, my lips off with a makeup wipe. And I lined my lips with a Maybelline Wine Lip Liner. And then this um, lip color that I used was really awesome. It's the Rimmel Matte Shades color. I forget what the color is called, but it will be listed in the bottom bar. And then this is the Tiki Highlight from Hard Candy. And I just put that on my upper cheekbones. And there's the final look. I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to push subscribe, like, comment. And yeah, look at my little geeky dad. Bye guys.